Hi, it's Manesh Patel here again from Duke University at the Heart.org booth at the American Heart Association meetings in 2011. I have the pleasure here to talk to Dr. Castrati with the ISAR REACT 4 study that was presented here as a late-breaking clinical trial. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Manesh, for giving me this opportunity. Great. Well, can you tell us what prompted you to do the study? Uh, we designed this REACT 4 trial in 2006. In 2006, we had information from two trials, ESRIF2 and Acuity. In ESRIF2, we could show that uh, Abcissima plus heparin was superior to, Abcis to heparin alone uh, in patients with acute coronary syndromes and elevated troponin. In the Acuity trial, Buridin was uh, superior to 2B3 inhibitors plus heparins or low molecular heparins in patients with acute coronary syndromes. The problem with the Acuity trial was that uh, it is a very uh, complex trial in its design. Um, only 60% uh, of the patients had elevated troponin in the trial. Only 60% of the patients did uh, undergo uh, PCI. Um, it was also an open level trial and we know uh, what problems uh, did they have. And uh, also, it was a mixture in the control group of uh, three 2B3 inhibitors. Abcissimab was given only 9% of the cases. And uh, also a mixture of uh, heparins and low molecular heparins. Another problem of uh, acuity trial was the liberal definition of uh, bleeding, including also hematomas of five centimeter or larger. So given so all that, thought, you did the we study. thought that uh, we thought that it's. Uh, uh, we should do a trial to address uh, specifically patients with acute coronary syndromes, elevated troponin, that means patients with non ss segment elevation myocardial fashion who undergo PCI, PCI. So tell me what you found. So we had uh, a primary endpoint, a composite uh, primary endpoint, uh, including death, myocardial infarction, uh, urgent target vessel vascularization, and major bleeding. We had two secondary endpoint, an efficacy endpoint, uh, um, being an ischemic uh, um, complication endpoint, that means uh, death, myocardial infarction, urgent target vessel vascularization, and a safety secondary endpoint, which was major bleeding. What is specific for ESRDF4 trial is the conservative definition of both myocardial infarction as part of the primary endpoint and major bleeding. So we had uh, to, uh, to consider myocardial, large myocardial infarction if the patient had either Q wave or an increase in CKMB of five times more than uh, the upper limit of normal. And major bleeding was much more conservatively uh, defined as it was the case in Babylon trials. What we found, we didn't find any difference in the primary endpoint, but when we looked at the secondary endpoints, we didn't find any difference in the efficacy endpoint. That means that uh, abscissimab and heparin couldn't it reduce the ischemic complication rate. On the other side, the safety endpoint was uh, not in favor of, of uh, abscissimab plus heparin because abscissimab plus heparin increased the risk of major bleeding with uh, 84%. So what do you guys conclude and where do you think we go forward now? I think that uh, the message was uh, very clear. So you don't have any benefit in ischemic complication, in the reduction of ischemic complication, and on the other side, you have an increased uh, rate of bleeding. So in, uh, in this case, uh, I would uh, prefer to use uh, babylutin in, uh, in this kind of patients. On the other side, we have also to, to take advantage of the results of other trials, and if we combine now Horizon Summit trial and Israeli Act 4 trial, I would say babarudin is the drug of choice in patients with acute myocardial infarctions, irrespective of whether they present with or without as the segment elevation. But you can use uh, babarudin also in, uh, in other patients. The problem is, as long as you don't have financial concerns, you can use it in all patients. Mm -hmm. But uh, Israeli Act 3 had shown that for patients with stable or unstable angina without elevated troponin, um, babarudin is doing as well as heparin alone. Thanks again for a wonderful trial and helping inform our practice. Thank you, Lanish.